Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast recognizes Western Armenia, one province. Artsakh faced local military actions. The chairman of National Assembly of Artsakh, President of Artsakh, Adai Karutunyan, signed the decree. Paruk is under the control of Russian peacekeepers. Armenian forces have retained possession of the main part of Karagalu. On April 5, the second issue of Anaide magazine will be published. Iran and Armenia discussed the development of long-term cooperation of the energy sector. The list of intangible cultural heritage of Armenia has been added with six more. One province, one vilayet, administrative territorial unit of Ottoman Empire, Western Armenia, the center of one. It included the main part of Aspurakan vilayet, the provinces of Mo, Korchaik, and Turuberan of Greater Armenia. In the 16th and 17th centuries, it included Bayazet, which from the beginning of 18th century passed to Azrum. Until the 1840s, there were Kurdish semi independent authorities in one province, as well as Armenian autonomous authorities. Mountain peaks in province of one. Sipan, Jilo, Tondrak, etc. In addition to Lake Van, there are a number of lakes too. Cattle breeding was developed in Van province. The city of Van was the most important center of trade and crafts. It is rich in minerals, iron, copper, gold, silver, coal, salt, and oil. The Western Armenian part of state is rich in forest. In 1915, thanks to the heroic Battle of Van, most of the Armenians of the province escaped from the massacre. Chairman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Artsakh, Artur Tomasian, sent a message to the people of Artsakh. All fundamental issues concerning the Republic of Artsakh are solved in the Security Council of Republic of Artsakh. Artsakh was facing local military actions and we must work with everyone, not only by force but also by wise diplomacy. The recent meetings of the Security Council of Republic of Artsakh and the last meeting of President of Republic of Artsakh, the Chairman of the Security Council and National Assembly, inspire hope that we are on the right path. God grant that this continues the message reads. On March 26, President of Republic of Artsakh, Arai Karutunyan, signed a decree on temporary restrictions of rights and freedoms in a condition of martial law declared on the territory of Republic of Artsakh. According to the decree, in accordance with the procedure established by law during the period of martial law declared on the territory of Republic of Artsakh, the right of freedom to assembly is restricted. Strikes and other events that terminate and suspend the activities of organization are prohibited. Propaganda against the defense and security on the Republic of Artsakh and the activist organizations have been launched, other activities are suspended. Responsibility for ensuring the application of temporary restrictions of rights and freedoms established by the decree is assigned to the Ministry of Internal Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh and the National Security Service of the Republic of Artsakh. March 28, the operational and tactical situation along the entire contact line, including the eastern section of the contact line, is relatively stable. No significant violation of the ceasefire regime have been recorded. According to their report, the village of Paruch of the Askian region is now in the control zone of Russian peacekeeping contingent in Artsakh. Thanks to the courageous efforts of the Artsakh armed forces, the Armenian side managed to stop the Azerbaijan armed forces and retain possession of the main part of Mount Karagaluk, the Artsakh Information Headquarters reports, noting that Azerbaijan troops continue to remain in position in a part of Karagaluk. Western Armenia condemns aggression against its sovereign territory and reminds Azerbaijan to respect international law. Azerbaijan is a state that was informed during the signing of the Treaty of Severs that any aggression calls into question its legitimacy and a state in relation to Western Armenia and its population. On April 5 of this year, the second issue of the Armenian magazine Anahide will be published in France in four languages, Armenian, Russian, English and French. We want to remind you that the magazine was initially published only in French. Thanks to this magazine, readers can get acquainted with the social, public and personal life and activities of prominent Armenians living in different countries, especially in France. In addition to all this, you can get acquainted with the techniques of the Armenian martial art, high jampa, as well as read articles and analyzing the details of the genocide carried out against the Armenian people.
Iranian oil minister Javad Oji and advisor to Prime Minister of Armenia Artashes Tumanyan discussed the development of long-term cooperation in the energy sector, Mayor News Agency reports. Since May 15, 2009, Armenia has been receiving gas from Iran through the Iran-Armenian gas pipeline. Within the framework of Gas for Electricity program, Iranian gas is preceded on a territory of Armenia for export to Iran. The draft of amendments and addiction to resolution of the Government on Republic of Armenia, number 310A, dated March 11, 2010, has been submitted to the Government of Republic of Armenia for approval. According to the draft decision, the list of values of intangible cultural heritage of Republic of Armenia, consisting of 45 elements, is supplemented with six elements. These are embroidery, the tradition of collecting wild plants and fruits in the communities of the Tavush region of the Republic of Armenia. Hiking the mountains, traditional farm animal of Tavush region of the Republic of Armenia, tradition of making chechil of cheese of Shirak region, tradition of making and using kavar pahlava, preparation of chaha to values. The same decision made changes in the information about the previously registered holidays, Tarandes and Vartavar. Now the musical part, Armenian song, Nayuruhi Alaverdian, Vartani Mor Vogba. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.